We are technologizing childhood, as I mentioned before. In 1970, the typical age at which children began to watch television was four years, like this cute little girl there. And today, based on research that we've done, it's four months. Most of that switch hasn't happened in the last 40 years. Most of it has happened in the last 10. And in fact, if you look at children's daily, daily media usage, children zero to six spend about two hours a day with screen media. Children six to 18 spend about five and a half hours a day. But that's only how much time they spend at home. And many of our children are cared for elsewhere or by others, not by parents. And when you add that to it, what we find is that the typical child, as was said, spends six to seven hours a day on a screen. Now keep in mind that preschool children are only awake for about 12 hours a day. So they're spending as much as 50% of their time in front of a screen. So the question that we've had that I've posed here are these three concurrent phenomenon, brain growth, executive function development, and media exposure occurring concurrently, what are the effects of that? Now we've known for too long, for very long, that too little stimulation is bad for brain development. I show you here two PET scans. Now, the way you read a PET scan is the brighter the color, the more brain activity is going on. And on the left is a typical PET scan from a, pre, from a kindergartner. And on the right is a PET scan from a child that was raised in, in a Romanian orphanage, profoundly neglected, didn't get any stimulation at all. And you'll see there are areas of this child's brain that show no activity whatsoever. Because of that profound lack of stimulation, it brain, areas of his brain didn't develop.